Let's talk about this hand that you played versus Garrett. Adelstein with a pair of fives raises to 3,000. An EP. I like that. EP. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Pros versus amateurs. Don't be sleeping. Where there were three clubs out there on the flop. I saw the <laughs> You actually had your eyes closed. You had top. You flopped top two, I think. And he had a set. With the three clubs there. Oh. There's oh. calls. 20. Person bets 20,000. There's three clubs out there. It's hard for us both to have a flush, right? Best possible. Poker takes two. You've been doing so well today with your big bets. This might be your chance. Oh, after that? Where's the raise? Yeah, where is the raise? That's annoying that you didn't raise me here. Really annoying. I mean, I feel like you really, really like your hand. Getting into the river, the pot's about 75,000. Could you bet 70 if I check? Garrett? I'm gonna check. Garrett reaches for chips. <laughs> And then as he's about to bring it forward. And? You just throw in a chip. Uh -oh. What happened what's there? Your, what's that about? What are you doing, man? Basically saying you're gonna call. I was calling, I thought you were betting. You can do whatever you want. Can you tell us why you did that? It's okay. I have no idea what to do now. You can do whatever you think is right and it's okay. And what was going through your mind at the time? Garrett clearly has 75,000. Three cranberries in his hand. I was probably calling. What? Wiley veterans. You Wiley veterans. It's nothing like that at all. I, I'm in this weird spot when you put a chip in before I bet. I no, I was eager. That's my bad. I was trapping you. Sorry. First, why don't you tell me what you think was going through my mind at the time? And then well, I'll tell it's, you it's, you are. it's pretty... It's definitely in the realm of an angle, the way that you're doing it like that, because now you're trying to entice him to not bet. The reason that it feels like not an angle to me is that you're giving yourself a disadvantage. If he bets that money, you have to call. You That's can't right. take you can't take your money back. You can reach for more. And he can, so I can for more, Doug. He can bet for more if he wants. If he can see through it, he can bet more. Where's your shot clock now? <laughs> like, can we get a shot clock? <laughs> If he bets more, I think you're not bound to a call. You can reach for more. Uh, but you but you did say during it you can bet more if you want. Does that yeah. did that mean that you you would call more? Yes. <laughs> okay. I mean, I I decided I'm checking, but I, I feel I feel bad. Like I don't know what. I what. don't believe it. Don't feel Sheesh. bad. Wow, that was just a, wow. just another. <laughs> Wild, Just man. another perfect play. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Antonius. <laughs> okay, so I guess I guess there's two different ways of looking at this hand. The first way would be this is like in sports when somebody commits a foul and there's a penalty, but the penalty is better than letting the play go. Okay, you could make that argument. You know what the penalty is here, and you're fine paying that. The other one would be it's not within the rules to act out a turn. And you purposely acted out of turn to get someone to do what you want. And so that's an angle. What would you say? Why, why do, you, uh, do you think that was an angle? What, where, what would you say about it? All right, guys. Uh, because this question gets asked a lot, I'm gonna, you guys can hear from the horse's mouth. Um, I use this play about two to three times a year. And I use it in a spot where my range is such that I prefer not to have a river bet. I think that um, you know, there's a lot of hands that can beat and there's a lot of hands that can beat me. And I think there's a lot of small... Um, there's other two pairs. I think that there's also things like smaller flushes that I can save the 75 to 100,000 when they don't bet. I think there's also sets that I can get to check. And so I'm going to call all bets. And I meant it when I said he could bet more and that I would call. I'm a person of integrity. I think that what I did is not an angle because I was prepared to call. And um, Garrett could have, in fact, done whatever he wanted. He could have shoved all in and I would have called. And I think there's situations where someone would do that. They wouldn't really believe that I'd actually call and I would call and I'd actually be good. I don't think that I gave away value by making that move. I think that it would probably increase my profitability overall if you were to run this through a sim, a lot of fucking hands. Um, but I think that I did something in this case, obviously, that saved me 100,000 as Garrett reached for four chips. But it could have been a different scenario where if he was bluffing, I could have stopped the bluff. So to me, it's not an angle because I'm always going to call. And if Garrett reaches for more, I'm still going to always call. 
And I do, anybody who plays with me long enough, um, I mix that move around, or not just that move, but any move around where, um, you know, it's not always going to be the same thing. I can easily have a, a seven high flush in that spot. So that's what really happened. And um, I don't think it's an angle. I think that it's poker. And I think that poker isn't online. And I think that live poker is different. And I think that there's humans and emotions and um, thought that goes into it. I think that Garrett and I hadn't played before. And so it was a very confusing move for him. But in no way do I think it was an angle because I was prepared to call.